Good morning, everyone. Um, we are the JPC team that tested the efficacy and the social acceptance of a, of a water treatment point of use device called the Mati Drop. My name is Lark Washington. My name is T1. And my name is Chloe Rento. We have a fourth team member that is not with us today, um, Lizzie Wallace. Um, she's studying abroad this semester. So. One in nine people in this world. So this means that 780 million people do not have access to safe drinking water. As a consequence, millions of illnesses and preventable diseases occur every year as a result of not only poor sanitation and health, but also of, um, also of contaminated drinking water. So as the world population reaches 7 billion people, it becomes increasingly important to um, try to help alleviate um, the scarcity of potable water in poor and rural communities. So in the summer of 2013, this JPC team um, tested the, and distributed the Mighty Drop, a um, point of use water filtration technology in Limpopo province, South Africa. In Limpopo province, one of the most impoverished provinces in South Africa, um, there is a high rate of HIV AIDS infection um, and this, has, this really corresponds with um, the lack of safe drinking water. Um, immunocompromised individuals um, do not have um, the immune systems to battle um, gastrointestinal diseases and so um, ingesting um, contaminated water has um, very serious effects on a lot of individuals who reside in this area. Um, so to um, alleviate this problem, there have been a lot of projects that have been implemented um, to install boreholes and wells um, and public taps. This is a picture of a public tap in the village of Hamishamba, where we worked. Um, and um, hundreds of people use it every week, um, but unfortunately, um, the source of water is often unreliable and the local groundwater is often contaminated as well. Um, so there have been um, a variety of projects um, that have um, sought to solve this problem. So there have been um, point of collection um, water filtration technologies that have been implemented. So um, this means that people can try to treat their water wherever they collect it. But unfortunately, um, uh, after a period of time, water can become recontaminated. Hence, um, we tested the muddy drop. Um, to try to um, eliminate the risk of recontamination. Um, so the Mighty Drop is a porous um, silver uh, or a porous um, ceramic tablet that is inexpensive and long lasting. And it's composed of clay, silver, um, and um, sawdust. So how exactly does the Mighty Drop um, el eliminate water of um, bacteria? So, when you drop it in 10 liters of water for eight hours, um, the silver nanoparticles, which are effective antimicrobial agents, um, will um, dissolve into the water, um, eliminating it of coliform bacteria. So we partnered with the Mukundeni Pottery Collaborative and the University of Venda um, to test the Mari Drop. Um, and with the help of our community partners, um, we, were not only, we were able to not only um, gain access to state-of-the-art um, microbiology labs, but we also gained um, really valuable insight um, about the traditional and cultural knowledge. Um, so when we um, wanted to um, try to solve this problem in this community, it is incredibly crucial to um, have an appreciation and understanding of the indigenous knowledge. And so in the summer of 2013, our JVC team tested the efficacy and the social acceptability of the Mighty Traps. So 30 households in the village of Hamashamba were selected to participate in our study. Each household was given a silver Mahdi drop and a control Mahdi drop that had no silver in it. The control served as a standard to which we could compare the data that was collected from the silver Mahdi drop. Um, each house was also given a bucket in which they could hold the Mahdi drops in the water. Uh, house, uh, samples were collected each week from each household from the silver bucket and from the control bucket and also directly from the influence source, often a public tap or a private borehole. The samples were then brought to the University of Venda where we were able to check the samples for microbial content in the water using membrane filtrations 
and the silver levels in the water using an atomic absorption spectrometer. The data and the results from our study are shown here. As you can see, the Madijap was able to achieve a 93% reduction in total coliform bacteria. As a reference, the ceramic filter that was shown over uh, earlier is a very popular point of use technology that's used around the world and is considered highly efficient in disinfecting water. And the ceramic filters are known to achieve a 92% reduction in total coliform bacteria in the field. So this is a very high number and the water is much safer to drink after the Mahdi Drop has treated it. Um, high concentrations of silver in drinking water can actually be toxic, so we needed to ensure that the Mahdi Drop was never releasing too much silver. Um, the World Health Organization's standards for silver in drinking water is 0.1 parts per million. As you can see, the Mahdi Drop was releasing silver on a scale of parts per billion, which is about three orders of magnitude below the water standards. So participants were never in danger of ingesting too much silver. Another really important aspect of the Mahdi Drop was the social acceptability. A product that is highly efficient in disinfecting water and improving the health of participants is useless if nobody wants to use it or knows how to use it. So to make sure that this didn't happen with the Mahdi Drop, we conducted surveys at the beginning and end of our study in order to better understand our participants' perceptions about water and health and also to see what it was like to use the Mahdi Drop in their daily lives and in their homes. Some of the main results from the survey are shown here. All 30 participants believed that the Mahdi Drop was easy to use and said that they would use the Mahdi Drop again. 73% of the participants believed that they saw an improvement in their health by the end of the study after having drinking water that was treated by the Mahdi Drop. 90% of the participants thought that water that was treated by the Mahdi Drop tasted and smelled better than water that was treated with another point of use method. Okay, so the challenges we faced during this field study, um, uh, common challenges we faced was leaky buckets. Sometimes the spigot on the bucket malfunctioned during the um, study. So sometimes we found the participants not willing to use one of the buckets that we gave them. And also we found that um, sometimes the participants did not remove the money drop after eight hours, but we later found in the lab that it did not affect the efficacy of the actual money drop. So it actually wasn't a true problem. So moving forward, um, our long-term goal is to obtain long-term data of the Mahdi Drop as well as build a sustainable business model from this device. Um, the Mahdi Drop is composed of local materials that could be easily accessible to this region. And um, it is very an economical option. It costs about $5 compared to a $25 filter, which many people in this region made $25 per month. And um, we would, um, we're continuing this research um, this summer to obtain long-term data to see how the Mahdi Drop performs, um, I guess, over a year now. So, yes. And we would like to extend our appreciation to our faculty advisor, Professor Jim Smith, and our graduate mentor, Bidia Day, as well as the faculty members from the Water and Health in Limpopo Project and our community partners, um, the University of Vinda and the Mukundinini Pottery Cooperative. Thank you so much for funding JPC and CGH. So thank you. <laughs>